my new video that is on prostaglandin analogs the prostaglandin analogs are used as medications in anti glaucomatous drugs and uh, or you can say if person is having a glaucoma then these medications are used first to lower the iop iop means the intraocular pressure of our eye intraocular pressure means that the eye pressure of our eye so in this uh, prostaglandin analogs these prostaglandin analogs work as a medication to lower the iop and to enhance the uveoscleral outflow uveoscleral outflow is the outflow means the fluency making the fluency of aqueous humor flow and uh, these uh, these prostaglandin analogs are of four uh, four types we can use as four types uh, the these four types are really beneficial in uh, every manner they have some side effects also and uh, these things are mentioned at last of the video so please before watching the video kindly like it share it and subscribe my channel for the future videos and thank you so much for viewing my previous videos have a look to this video also prostaglandin analogs prostaglandin analogs are also known as prostamide analogs now the question arises that what is it where is it used why it is used and how it is used so the answers are really understandable what is it are the these are the class of drugs which binds with the prostaglandin receptors now where is it used it is used in the field of ophthalmology as the anti glaucomatous drugs okay so you can say it glaucomatous drugs also because it is used in the treatment of glaucoma now why is it used it is used to enhance the uveoscleral outflow as the aqueous humor flow for the aqueous humor flow and re relax the ciliary muscles widening the spaces within trabecular meshwork as you all know these things are used in aqueous outflow now how is it used with example i have made a table for you to understand about prostaglandin analogs drugs it is a table which is really beneficial for you all so have a look um first drug is latanoprost latanoprost is used as 0.005 percentage and its passage is through cornea and uh, its action is lowering the iop by increasing aqueous outflow through uveoscleral pathway it is uh, helpful in the fluent flow of aqueous outflow now the daily dose once a day preferably at night its side effects are also there uh, if uh, latanoprost is used in combined with timolol it is most effective and it may cause hyperemia iris pigmentation allergy risk of cystoid macular edema conjunctival hyperemia now trevenoprost trevenoprost is also known as trevetin that is used as 0.004 percentage hydrolyzed by corneal esterase hydrolyzed by corneal esterase and uh, its mode of action is to increase the uveoscleral outflow by reducing iop approximate by 25% okay now daily dose once a day at night it is only used at once a day at night and it may cause or its side effect is conjunctival hyperemia okay now bimatoprost bimatoprost is also known as lumigen that is 0.03 percentage used interact with the prostamide receptor in trabecular meshwork its passage is through trabecular meshwork in trabecular meshwork it interacts with the prostamide receptor to work as a anti glaucomatous drug okay it increases the uveoscleral outflow effective then latanoprost it's iop uh, making iop reduced up to 13 to 18% it is used once a daily and it have some side effects also that is more conjunctival hyperemia fewer headache less iris glyce hyperemia and now the last thing as you all know that conjunctival hyperemia is really common in three of them now you know prostone you know prostone is effects on ciliary muscle its effect on ciliary muscle and it is not mentioned in all the books it affects on ciliary mus muscles and enhance the uveoscleral outflow iop reduced up to about 5 mm hg okay and it is used twice a daily over 12 week period and there is no side effect except corneal toxicity 
So this is the thing that we need to understand about the drugs used in prostaglandin analogs. Thank you so much for viewing uh, or giving your precious time to this video. Hope you all understand about prostaglandin analogs. Thank you so much.